Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Good night. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikah Kudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Amen. All praise to Yahweh Hashem for this 100% truth. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem for bringing us out again uh, on the highways and hedges to, to uh, pronounce this word, you know, and, and compel them to come in, you know. Um, hey, just to bring it out, bro. Just to do the work. And the will of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, man, the one true living God. S seriously, you know. Um, uh, I just saw. I, I, just, I gotta mention. I gotta make mention of. I just saw a, 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 a Jake family just walk past me just now, right before I turned on the camera. Guess who's in? Who, who's in the front? Eve. You know. Guess who's in the back? The dad. You know. I mean, trying to catch, trying to keep up. Eve taking. You know, talking some shit about some to her children or whatever. You know. And I was like, thank you, Tawadi Yahweh Hashem Hashem, man, for this truth. Understanding, you know, that the Lord going to do a new thing. The woman shall compass a man. You know, everything is turned upside down. Everything is out of order. You know, um, the woman should not assert authority over the man. All these things, you know, come to our mind when we, because when we, you know what? You know, the, the, at the end of the day, bro, that's what this epistle is all about, that we live in these scriptures, bro. The Lord has blessed us to understand that we are, this is the stripped, you know. And we're, we should, you know, stick. That's why, you know, sometimes we say stick to the strip. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, that's what we beg Yahweh Hashem Hashem for the spirit, man. Always begging the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Hashem for the spirit, bro. Uh, to, you know, to, to walk in the spirit, to believe, to, to, to stay humble, you know, to endure to the end. All these things we be praying for, bro. So, uh, this live cam, I'm going to I'm gonna put a little name, name to it, I think, I guess. I'm, I'm, you know, if, if, if the spirit allows and continues on, uh, something like, uh, your actions have consequences. Your actions have consequences. Something like that, bro. And Lord willing, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem we're going to bring out this live camp. So, uh, I want to base it on something that happened to me this week. It was a very heavy week. Uh, I was in the bed, I don't know, maybe three days. I was down, and I, the only reason, the only, the only, the reason why, you know, that I got up, I had to get up, I only got up when I had, absolutely had to get up, bro. You know, when I had to go do something for the plantation, I absolutely had to. I could still move around and stuff. I just wasn't feeling all that great, and I was in a lot of pain. I had this stomach pain right here, bro. I could touch, you could touch it, you know, right now. It's, uh, I think it, it's just totally been relieved this morning, you know, I'm, you know, I think it's finally went away this from this morning to this afternoon. It's finally all the way gone. There's there's a little bit of pain still right there. Um, I had a serious pain right here. Every time I moved, you could feel it. When I touched it, you could feel it. Uh, I, I, I was hard to hard, it was hard to breathe. Uh, I wasn't constipated, you know. I, I don't think I was anyway, you know. Um, but I finally narrowed it down. I'm, I was thinking, what the fuck happened? Was I, did I get food poisoned? You know, what happened to me, bro? And uh, I kept thinking about, did I eat something wrong? What, what, what was it? Is it, you know? And I was, I was a little nervous. So of course, you know, we prayed to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Thought it was gas. We got some, uh, you know, uh, the lady, my lady told me to drink some tea, some ginger tea. Maybe it's gas, is you know, burping up and all that stuff. And it really didn't work. And. Uh, I don't, you know, I, but I prayed and I had faith and I just waited, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful for that, man. I'm thankful that I'm here, able to bring it out, uh, but I think I narrowed it down, bro. Check it out. I think around one, Monday or Sunday or something, I ate one of these motherfuckers. This is some kind of moose shit, you know, that I, I got from the plantation. Somebody had left it, so I'm not sure if it, how long it was in and out of the refrigerator. I don't know where you know, and I it's it's sealed. It was it was brand new. It was two of them, but I wanna you know use this as exhibit A or whatever you know. I, I don't know. I wanna use this to bring it out. Lord willing, this Lord willing, this is gonna be edifying. That's again, once again, uh, your actions have consequences, and we're gonna just use this as a platform, you know, to speak about a few other things when it comes to this word of truth. When it comes to Yahweh Shemashah. 
when it comes from being called out of darkness into this marvelous light. And uh, like the big brother elder say, hey, sometimes you, you should read other labels if you are going to eat something that you don't normally eat. And uh, sure enough, you know, well, in, number one, off the bat, it's so many damn ingredients, bro. It's like a thousand ingredients written on this thing, bro. Yeah, it's like a thousand ingredients on here. I'm not going to read all these ingredients, of course. You know, uh, but you know, of course it says it contains milk, soy, wheat, may contain eggs, and tree nuts, right? But then, it also says this. It says it contains a bioengineered food ingredient, whatever the hell that means. So it contains also a bioengineered food ingredient. We don't know what that means. You know, but of course the strippers say we're going to eat our food to file. You know, but we're going to get into it, bro. I just wanted to make mention of that. All praise to you. How about you, my man? And, you know, everything seemed to be back in order. And everything flowing properly. The pain's gone. I don't know what it was, but I, you know what? Okay, what I think what I think was is this shit here maybe got clumped, clumped up in my, in my large intestines or something. Because it was like right there hard as a, you know, kind of feeling like it was hard and feeling like some shit was stuck there. And it may take a few, you know, some eating some fiber, uh, some beets and shit, maybe to, to clean it out, clean it out, just continue to clean it out. I don't know, but I'm thankful for you, how about you, my child, to be here, you know, bringing out the word of truth right now tonight, bro. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, so once again, action, your action have consequences, and we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 4. Let's just start at 1. Matthew, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, then... When Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, okay? And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards a hunger, right? Yeah, and also, yeah, you t hey, a brother did have to fast this week. To also, a brother had to fast this week. We're going to get into it. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, wow, 40 days and 40 nights, bro. That's Yahweh Shai, my shy man. He was afterwards a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of, of Yahweh, command that these stones be made bread. Right? He was hungry. So he's like, hey, you, I know you got the power. Turn these stones into bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live. Check it out, bro. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemashah. So, hey, man should not live by bread alone, but every word, you know, that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord right here. That's what we should be living by, because these words are faithful and true. These words are, are the commandments of life, you know. This is it right here. This is, all, this is what we need right here, okay, right here. The scripture speak, speaks about seek ye the Lord, you know, uh, no, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek the Lord first. And all your needs going to be met automatically. He already knows how many hairs we have on our head. Uh, the stripper speaks about, uh, you know, uh, he how the Lord feeds the birds of the field. How Aren't you much more than they? You know, roughly paraphrasing. So it is written. But he answered and said, it is written. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, baby. Let me bring this down just a little bit. Okay, yeah, right there. That might be it right there, baby. Okay. I'm going to bag this off a little bit. I think maybe I shouldn't be messing with it. I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to leave it just, I'm going to leave everything like it is. Okay. Okay. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him in a, on, a, on a pinnacle of the temple. Okay. Up, up high. And he said unto him. <laughs> he said unto him. I'm about to get to the point right here. And he said unto him, If thou be the son of Yahweh, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over, he shall give his cha angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Check that out. That's a real heavy scripture right there, bro. I want to go get that in the, uh, in the Good News Translation, actually, by the way. Real quick. Uh, Matthew 4 verse 6 in the Good News Translation 
Hold on, let me get it real quick. Matthew 4 and 6. Where's it at? It says, And said to him, If you are God's son, so this is the good news translation, okay? Same scripture. Matthew 4 and 6. If you are God's son, Yahweh's son, throw yourself down. For the scriptures say, Yahweh will give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up in their hands so that not even your feet will hurt on the stones. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. Because this is the point. One, I want to make that point in number seven. Yahweh Shai answered. But the scripture also say, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Plain and simple. I want to get that. You know, in the KJV it says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God bro so you know yeah of course you know we're hoping that the Lord give his angels charge over us in the time of Jacob's trouble even now you know we, we understand that the uh, you know the those that fear the Lord the angel the angels of the Lord and camp around about them that fear the Lord you know every when we go out on the highways and hedges we pray the Lord to you know to protect us from these damn <laughs> these bug outs out here these demons out here uh, this wicked world when we when we uh, go out of the house when we go to the plantation we always ask you how about Shema Shad, you know, to direct our footsteps, you know, and, and protect us out here in this wicked ass world. You know, and, and his will be done, you know, ultimately not our will. Uh let me get let me hold on, bro. I I forgot, I keep forgetting to get this, man. I wanted to I keep forgetting to put this up in place when we start the uh, when we start the camp, Salaki. I have I have one on the east side of the camp and I forget to put them up here. You know, uh, so yeah, you know, like uh, I, I read that scripture, Thou shalt now tempt the Lord thy God, because the Lord has given us these commandments to live by. These are the laws of life from cover to cover, you know, and we're coming out, out of that darkness into this marvelous light, all these lies. Now, you know, it's our pleasure to do the will of the Lord, it's our pleasure to understand that this is our true heritage and this is the way we should be living, you know. Uh, we're gonna get all them scriptures, so. Uh, when it comes down to food, we got a dietary law, and even, you know, the Lord speaks about eating all these damn dainty things, and you know, in the past, brothers have made, hey, so lucky, man, I don't know what's going on now, so when I get here, I start, my nose start messing up, probably this damn incense, right, let me put it up, let me put it over here somewhere, hey, yeah, so lucky, ah, feel like I want to blow my nose but yeah like like hey just a simple point okay like um, today when I was watching the brothers all o all over even yesterday cer certain brothers you know in their camp they were it was raining raining like crazy it started to rain today here hold on bro I gotta go blow I gotta go get me a tissue paper and blow this nose hold on one second let me see do I have what I have Okay, so lucky, bro. So lucky about that, man. Uh, yeah, that's much better. So, I was thinking, uh, speaking about you know, uh, the rain from, uh, it started rain today, you know, and uh, of course, you know, we, we say the prayer. You know, Lord willing, nobody want to prophesy in the rain. Uh, but anyway, are we going to tempt you? How about Shema Shah? No, we're going to bring, we're going to bring umbrellas, you know. We're gonna bring umbrellas. We're gonna bring umbrella stand. You know what I'm talking about? We got the stands for the umbrella. This even right now, even though it looked like it may be okay, it's still lightning and thundering in the background. 
but we still brought a, a stand with the we got an umbrella right up here right above us right now so if it even rains you know hey we're not tempting you how about shimma shot uh because it's his will be done you know um you know even the scripture speaks about uh like i want to compare it to the scripture um give me neither poverty nor riches you know same thing we're not trying to tempt the lord you how about shimma shot you know, or, or or trying to get it in this world and all this stuff or go outside what's written in the scriptures, you know. We understand we're here to suffer and we understand the guidelines. And we're gonna get it in the all in the scriptures, man. Hold on, let me go get it so we can bring it out. Because once again, brothers and sisters, we are living this strip. We don't want to go outside what the strip say. We want to stay right there. So just like how Shah say, let's go read it, bro. It is written, so this is Matthew chapter 4 verse 7. It is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil, we're going to keep going. That We're not supposed to be tempting the Lord thy God, you know, in these ways. So, you know, when, uh, like I was saying, the brothers, you know, the elders and everybody speaking about uh, uh, eating right. You know, you got the brother uh, Spirit Wind Judah speaking about uh, the, 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 the shaman, you know, through the spirit of the power of Yahweh Hashem you know, Spirit Wind Judah is always talking about being healthy, eating healthy. Uh, the Elder Puzzle, uh, Gabar, Elder Puzzle Tahar, always speaking about making juices and things like that, trying to, you know, get, get you know, get do better, do better. When, when you know better, you're supposed to do better, right? So we, I, you know, learn about the, the high fruit toast that Elder Puzzle uh, Tahar was speaking about. And after, after I heard that, after the brothers from uh, GMS, uh, you know, Birmingham, a mysteries of the kingdom, bro, was speaking about they they was talking about uh, Funyuns and uh, Fayo and Coca Cola and stuff like that. Man, we done hey we all through the spirit of power, y'all about Shemashah, we done put that down. Even stop eating so much. I, even slowed down on the ice cream. Even slowed down on the on the on the on the on the cakes and cupcakes and all that stuff. But I didn't buy the you know didn't buy these. But still at the same time, hey, this shit will clog your shit up, you know. So we should know better than that in this wicked ass world. Because what does it say? What does it say? Let's read this again on the bottom. What does it say? It says contains a bioengineered food ingredient, man. I mean, damn, what the fuck does that mean? Esau, wicked. Esau, you wicked, man. God, man, you can't even have a little, little, little flour and sugar and water in a cake, you know? Damn greed, trying to preserve everything or, or make it last for a damn hundred years or some shit. Space food, what the hell, man. So anyway, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep reading. It's gonna read it read it down to eleven. It says again, the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto them, All these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me bro you know then Yahusha then said Yahusha unto him get thee hence Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thy serve bro and you know everything always come everything everything is Yahweh Shemashah bro uh cause when you know when I made a little recording about this and uh my mind immediately, you know, during the art, during the after the ordeal, and the fasting and the praying and the and the hoping and the wishing, and the and the discomfort, I thought about Daniel and the king's meat, you know. Uh, when I made that the recording for this, you know, this live count that we're speaking about now, you know, so so. Then said Yahweh unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve, bro. Then the devil uh, leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him, bro. So, you know, of course, we all know we're coming into this time of Jacob's trouble. We all know, you know, about the hour of temptation and everything like that. So, we're cleaving up to you. How about you, Masha, even more in these last days and learning these lessons as we continue to grow stronger and stronger in the faith. Once again, we're living these scriptures, bro. And it's very, you know, uh, that's why I be bringing out a lot of uh, testimonies about certain things that happen because. We filter them through the scriptures, bro, because we live in the scriptures. You know, applying these words to our lives to the best of our abilities and learning from our mistakes, 
you know, Lord willing. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Let's go to the book of Joshua. You know, they're not just words for us, brothers and sisters. They're not just words for us, brothers and sisters. Because this not no, no uh, false ass uh, religion or false doctrines. But we are the Lord's chosen people. We're the children of Israel. And we have returned to the one true living God. We have returned to the Lord our God and none else, okay? That, that uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Uh oh, my pages are getting all messed up, man. Okay, this is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book right here, bro, this, these words right here, the laws of life. Yahweh Shai, the word made flesh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou shalt, and th and that thou, that thou may, mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, okay? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good, su good success. Okay, so let's read this one more time. Okay, let it, you know, let's marinate it in it a little bit. It says, This book of the law, from cover to cover, all praise to you, Yahweh Shemashah, you know, for the elders, for the big brothers, you know, to be bringing out the, so we can get this understanding. You know, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You know, you. This this right right here. You're supposed to keep this the laws, you know, filter everything through the scriptures when you're going through life, you know, thinking about stuff, even watching TV, you know. And we're gonna get get into that a little bit a little bit more too, because you gotta watch out for these programs out here, these TV programs too. You you know, you gotta be have a balance with it. Because they try to suck you in, bro. And have you looking at that looking at the program as an idol, be like, oh yeah, what's going on? You gotta you can you glued to it and shit. You know, just you know, it's, it's, it's bad, bro. Everything here is defiled, my man. It's like the strippers say, arise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. Because it's, it's polluted. Uh, arise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. It'll destroy you with the, with the short... Uh, man, I'm going to mess that up. So, like, let me go get it, bro. It will surely destroy you. Uh, it's polluted. Hold on, let me go get it. I'm messing it up. So, like, night. Okay, here it is. Makai chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Ari uh, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. I don't know why I couldn't get that out tonight. But yeah, this place is defiled, it's polluted, it's, it'll destroy you with the sore destruction, bro. As you just saw, that damn moose boy. Man, I was, I, I'm like, I don't want to go see Esau. I'm just a prey to the Lord. I'm going to eat the herbs of the field. And may the Lord have mercy on me, bro. She, you ain't gonna be cutting on me and fucking with me or, or telling me, uh, 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 fuck that. So look, one more time, bro. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not, you know, depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou may observe to do. That's the key word, do. Be doers of the word now. Here's only, baby. To do all according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. You know, and also that's a cut on the, the plantation of Christianity. They're talking about the laws done away with. You know? Yeah. Cut on them. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. Because this, this is our heritage. This is, this is who we are, bro. This is our culture. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God, you know, are alive every one of you this day. You know, how do you cleave to, to Yahweh Shemashah? By cleaving to the words, by doers of the word, not here's only. Okay? No, but the Christian, you know, that plantation Christianity, that doers thou will spirit, then they just throw the word love around. Oh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. But what does the scripture say? Uh, show me thy faith by thy works. I'll show you my faith by my works, bro. Right? So, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. 
Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have God, Yahweh Shemasha, so nigh to them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgments so righteous as all this law which I have set before you this day? Only take heed. Okay? Watch yourself. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Okay? Least thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and least thou depart from, the, from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy son's son, bro. You know? Plain and simple. The laws of life. You know? Statutes, commandments. Keep them. Do them. What's the scripture say? You're going to have find there'll be health to thy navel and, and marrow for thy bones, bro. Roughly paraphrasing. I want to go get First Timothy and going to go straight to the point real quick to back that up. First Tim. Okay. First Tim 4, 16. Once again, take heed. Watch yourself. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, the laws of life, cover to cover. Continue in them. That's right. Don't turn to the left. Don't turn to the right. Don't cast it behind you. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Hey, what does the scripture say? Be not overwise. You know, be not overrighteous. Why should thou destroy thyself? Right? There's a balance of these things. Yeah, all things are lawful for me, but they're not expedient. We gotta understand, like, you can't even be eating too much fried chicken around here. You know, hey, the scripture say, uh, and we, this is applied to everything, bro. You know, this is applied to everything we're talking about here. Not just food. Like, the scripture, the scripture even speaks about uh, you, a man's not supposed to be sitting around with another man's wife. Hey, shit, don't do it. You might be sitting around with another man's wife one day. Boom, motherfucker, what the fuck you doing? Like, uh, what, no, Lord, Lord, God forbid, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, Brad? These are these, the days are evil, right? Uh, that was a, that was a movie I wanted to quote. I can't remember the damn movie, bro. But anyway, oh, I know, I think I know it was. I think it was Shy Brother. It was, uh, it, the movie's not called Shy Brother, but it was called Five Heartbeats. And remember those brothers in the Five Heartbeats? Duck, and I don't know what the other guy's name. Uh, but they used to all do, always do this thing called shy brother. One brother would go talk talk to the girl, talk about some hey, my brother over there he's shy, you know. But he 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 like you, and the guys over there something, <laughs> you know, like he's so shy. Uh, uh. And uh, so the, the one brother would set it up with him with the girl, and then I don't know why they I don't know why they did it, man. It's just you know I guess a pickup pickup girl line, whatever you know. But anyway, one brother was set it up with the, with the girl, and then the shy brother, the supposedly shy brother, supposed to come and swoop in, get the girl's number, you know, and and and, and I guess they bounce or something, whatever. But anyway, they on this particular time they set it up, and uh, the guy was like, uh, and when they came to pass, he was like, come on, come on and get the number, bro. And when they came to pass, he was like, shy brother works every time. So the the brother went over there, the shy brother went over there. And he just for uh, like 30 seconds, he started talking to the to the to this woman, and then uh, this big ass big ass buff dude walked in with some drinks, and he was like pissed off immediately, and he set the drinks down. Wow! And it was like every night I have to prove my love. And he went over there to, to, to mess him up, bro. Like you know, the jealousy of a, of a man. You know, the women want you know the jealousy of a man. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, Jealousy, well, I think the scripture speaks about jealousy is the rage of a man. Jealousy is the rage of a man. Yeah. And uh, like I was speaking about, the scripture tells us, hey, you're not supposed to be sitting around with another man's woman. So those things, the Lord has blessed us with to come back to understand these laws of life. You know, that's going to keep us and guide us, you know, in this, on this, on this righteous path, man. That's, that's, that's not, a, not a part of this world because this world tells you to, uh, you know, to eat. It's okay to eat crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster. It's okay to commit adultery, you know, hey, 
it, it should be fine, you know. Uh, yeah, you know that because people don't get really punished for that as, you know, as per the law, bro. You know, you might just maybe get a little divorced, you know, uh, but for the most part, people just do it all the time and, you know, it's a boo-hoo-hoo -hoo moment, you know. Or you the fool, you should have known. May they may make songs about it. It takes a fool to learn that love no love no but all this madness in Babylon the Great. Like we say, everything is turned upside down. Makai, chapter 2, verse 10. You know, arise you in the park, for this is not your rest. But it was, it was it will destroy you with the uh, it's polluted and it's, it will destroy you with the sword destruction. Roughly paraphrasing again. You know? So all praise to you, how about Shemashah, man, for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. So let's get back into it. Let's see, we was at uh, just taking heed to yourself. You know, we're learning our lesson. We continue to grow stronger and stronger in the faith and and uh, being doers of the word, not his only, bro. You know, because we, hey, all these prophecies are going to be fulfilled, you know. Uh, and a part of that is us believing and having faith in them and continue to grow in this truth and cleaving unto you, having our, you know, having our faith. You know, uh, just believing in the word and sitting there waiting on the Lord and rehearsing the righteous acts, bro. Keeping ourselves pure and holy and separate and clean in these last days, okay? Because these days will come to pass. You know, and we're just hoping and praying that the Lord will have mercy on us, bro. And we won't know that until that time, man, when this shit, when all hell breaks loose, the Lord said, then shall they be known who are my chosen, okay? Yeah. So come on, let's go get back into it. I want to go to 1 Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 12. 1 Corinthians 6, 12. It says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Right? It goes on to say, Meats for the belly, and belly for the meats. But Yahweh Shemashah, that is short shall destroy both it and them now the body is not of for fornication but for the Lord and the Lord for the for the body and Yahweh Shemashah have both raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai and will also raise up us by our own power okay know ye not that your bodies are the temp are the members of Yahweh Shai so I then take the members of Yahweh Shai and make them a members of a harlot God forbid okay what now? What know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two, said he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that is that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh Shemashah, and ye are not your own, bro. For ye are brought with the price. Therefore glorify Yahweh Shemashah in your body and in your spirit, which are of Yahweh Shemashah. That's right, man. So, you know, we're not, that's speaking about spiritual things as well. And we can also apply that to phys physically, you know, taking care of our bodies. You know, of course, not defiling our temples, you know, uh, cigarettes and whatever whatever you have you, or eating the crab shrimp, pork and lobster. But it's also talking about spiritual fornication. You know, that great whore, Babylon the Great, with all their, with all her philosophies and doctrines. You know, we, we're not going to be, no, we, we're virgins, bro. So we're not going to be joined onto this, onto this, all this, you know, the worshiping of the image of the beast, you know, or taking this M.A.R.K. ultimately. But, you know, I wanted to bring that out. Because all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any, bro. So we got to be careful out here. And there's a balance to all these things, you know. Uh, you know, like even I was talking about, once again, I was speaking about even these TV shows. You got to watch out because there's a lot of witchcraft in them. And there's a lot of shit that they try to, you know, they try to put it in there, bro. You got to be careful with everything. Oh yeah, that's a good scripture. Just came all praise to Yah by Shemashah. Through the spirit and power of Yah by Shemashah. What does that scripture say? The light of the body is the eye. Right? What you what you take in, you have to be careful. Every man, that's why man, they wearing out the saints over here. Everything's a fight. Everything's a struggle. Don't forget Yah by Shemashah. 
you know, is a man of war, right? Let me see, let's go get that. The light of the body is the eye. Once again, that's why you have about your shots telling us to keep that eye single, bro. You gotta be careful. You know, of course, you know, uh, we're, we're in this carnal flesh. Sometimes it's, it's a little tough to be walking in the spirit like a hundred percent, like a thousand, you know, all the time, you know, just plugged into the word all day long, you know. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you have to take a little break, man. You got to go on and do a little exercise or do a little side project here, you know, for that little, just unplug for a minute, for a little bit. But there's a serious balance because you got to be very careful, bro, out here. This is a, this is a fight, man. We're fighting for eternal life, okay? I want to get it, uh, the light of the body. <laughs> the water you have about Shema Shai. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6. I'm gonna just gonna get it on the phone. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Okay? If thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. If the only thing, you know, you you know, you're rehearsing the righteous acts, you stand diligently plugged into the word of truth. You know, you're not turning to the left, not turning to the right, not trying to be over righteous, not trying to be over wicked. You know, I gotta go get that scripture too, bro. Cause he's speaking about why should thou destroy thyself or why should thou die before thy time? Uh, Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-three. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness, bro. There's no in between. Okay. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, bro? You know, that's why the scriptures tells us, continue to tell us, we, we read it earlier, take heed, take heed to thyself and to the doctrine. Make sure, you know, the scripture speaks about all the time, examining yourself, whether you be in the faith, prove your own self, okay? And what's that scripture we're speaking about getting now? Uh, yeah, be not over-righteous much. Oh, and by the way, brothers and sisters, Shabbat Shalom. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the Sabbath day right now. This is the book of Ecclesiast Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 7, verse 15. It says, All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in wickedness. Okay? It says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? So be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Salaki, excuse me. And you see, you hear the big brother elder speak about that all the time. You got Jake be trying to get too deep. He's, he's just, hey, just stay one deep, bro. You know? Trying to overthink things. You know? It says, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 17. It says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should thou die before thy time, bro? So, hey, all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient, man. You gotta, you gotta watch yourself, man, in these last days. And also, you know, there's a lot of things that, uh, when you get a certain age, man, you can't can't do the same things that you used to do in those 20 year old bodies <laughs> it's just a fact you know even 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 the eating ice cream man that, that was a time I could eat a lot of ice cream and now I I can't I can't I don't eat it that much bro at all you know hold on I gotta blow my nose in. but you know through the spirit and the power you have about shot. I'm hoping that it, it was that moose and nothing else, you know. But, you know, it's going to be okay, bro. Maybe the Lord have mercy on me. You never know what's going on. So let's go to Ecclesiastes. No, Salaki, let's go to Ezekiel. 
Okay, Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. Now, y'all. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their food defiled. That's perfect. Because it goes into what we just read. Be not over-righteous. Because, you know, there's no way. You know, uh, like the brothers were saying one day. They got they got plastic. They got uh, pork. Some kind of way they put pork around in the plastic water bottles or something like that, you know. You know, this devil is wicked. Like, we're going to eat our food defiled, bro. There's no, you know, you never know. You know, we don't know the extent what this devil has done, man. That's why... You know, we need the sure mercies of David, bro. That's why we be praying and hoping to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Because, you know, of course we're not justified by keeping the law or nothing like that. But the Lord told us, hey, don't defile your temple. You know, so we, we need we need to be, we need to have that covering. We need that forgiveness. We need to be pardoned. It's true. And this is, you know, for the Lord's namesake, man. And that's why, that's why we have that hope of salvation. You know, at the end of the day. But at the same time, we're going to rehearse the righteous accent. What is all about? Hey, we're getting in order, man. Like this Lord say, this is the, this is the spirit of Yahweh Shem Hashem, bro. It is, man, because we're not, you know, all praise to Yahweh Shem Hashem to be able to understand, to be able to try, you know, do our put our best foot forward, man, and try to do these things, to uh, meditate upon these things, and execute these things, and you know, cut certain things off, and you know, be mindful of these things. You know, it's just a beautiful blessing, bro. It is, bro. We're not talking about just being vegan or. You know, being a vegetarian, you know, like that worldly shit. You know, going on a water diet and all this world, all that world shit. No, this is our heritage, baby. Like we read in the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse four. Man, this is the, this is it. Come on, let's go, let's go get some more. So this is the book of Ezekiel chapter four, verse thirteen. And the Lord said, Yahweh Shemasha said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles whether I will drive them. So this is prophecy anyway that, you know, we're going to be going through these things. We're going to be crying to Yahweh Hashem Hashem, you know, begging and pleading. You're going to be, uh, be like signing crying for them for shit like this. Talking about this food is genetically modified, bro. Damn, you know. You know this man wicked with all these damn labels and shit. You got to, you know, have all these labels and shit on your food to let you know that you about to eat some poison or some shit and the fine you know how they always do it with those commercials those uh, drug commercials and there's uh, uh, got some kind of uh, the same guy that his family was probably the one that that, that, that that spoke on the auction block you know man you know you got to the side effects gonna include such and such and such and such and such and such and such how wicked is that bro the side you take this drug and the side effect is going to be such and such and such and such and such and then the fine print so damn small you can't even damn see it you know that you know the poor poor bats is already old as hell already got damn two two seventy fives or whatever he has bifocals and shit on they still you know still bifocals with the magnifying glass what does it say yeah that damn devil and it's all a part of the program bro it's all a, it's all a part of the story of your how about Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. It says, Do we make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. So, you know, period, point blank. Do we make void the law through faith? God forbid. We establish the law, bro. That's why, you know, the scripture speaks about they. Let's go get it in the book of Judges. Man, every time I read this scripture, boy, I'd be so thankful. I'd be so happy and so full of that hope of salvation. Hold on, let me go find it. Judges. Here we go. Judges chapter 5. You know what we're talking about? 5 verse 11. And I think I might want to get this. In, no, no, no. I don't like the translation over there, man. Ju I like it in the KJV. Judges chapter 5 verse 11. They that are delivered. Right. Hey. Because what? We're talking about being delivered. Salvation. The children of Israel out of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. When those nuclear warheads are shot over here to make the whole land desolate. All right? Yeah, hey, man, this is it, bro. World War III right around the corner. Time of Jacob's trouble, a day like no other is round around, right, right around the corner. We're in the beginning of sorrows already. The scriptures say they that are delivered 
Hey, come on. I got a precept for this. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts, bro. We're going to be doing our best to apply these laws, statutes, commandments to our life. Once again, you know, living that strip. Living the scriptures, bro. Scripture said this. Scripture said that. We're not supposed to be doing this. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do this, you know. Our conversations in heaven. All these things the 144 hopeful elect are doing, brothers and sisters. The Lord bless us to be doing these things, man. You know. Now let me go get that precept. So they that are delivered from the northern orchards in the places of drawing water, in the, in the place of slavery, from the transatlantic slave trade, you know. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, bro. We're going to be rehearsing the light righteous acts of the old Lord. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates, bro. Okay? Now I want to jump over here. I think it's in 2nd Ezra I'm looking for. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. Second Ezra chapter nine verse seven. Uh, it says, "And everyone that shall be saved, you know, shall be delivered, salvation, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed." Plain, right? By your works, you're gonna be doing something. You're gonna be. Meditating upon these things, you're gonna give thyself wholly to them, and by doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's that paraphrasing uh first Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. Okay, and then of course Joshua spoke about this book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate upon them, you know, day and night. Thou shalt uh you know, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shall they have good success, right? You're gonna make your, your way prosperous, bro. You know? So hey, one more time. Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 7 and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning bro oh hey all praise to you how about you my child bro because we're in good company my man everything adds up for the hopeful elect, you know that small sanctuary, you know. He not he not he's not he's not shown these these things to all men, but to thee, and a few like thee, baby, you know. I gotta drink a little water. I freeze I freeze my water, man. And I put it in this little sock to keep it from that condom that condensation, you know, you know, be all over the damn place, wetting up the, the wetting up the Bible and stuff, you know. But for some reason, it melted quickly tonight, man. I didn't think it was that damn hot out here. You know? It didn't melt fast. I don't, maybe it wasn't frozen all the way. Okay, come on. So that was beautiful. That's right, man. We don't make void the law, but we establish the law. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know? Once again, show me what what does Triple say? Why calling me Lord, Lord, and do not what I say? And the Lord has given us these beautiful laws, you know, to live by, to protect us at the end of the day. Okay, uh, I want to go to Wisdom of Solomon. You know, just like a a a, a parent has has laws in their house for what? To protect the children. Hey. Don't you be talking to no that damn strangers. Don't you be sitting around no boys. All kind of stuff like that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 15. Verse 2 real quick. It says, for if we sin, we are, but if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power, but if we 
not sin, knowing that we are counted thine. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality. For if we sin, we are thine. Oh, let me jump up. Let me jump back up to one. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 1. But thou, O God, art, art gracious and true, long suffering and in mercy, ordering, ordering all things. For if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power. But we will not sin. There it is. But we will not sin. Well, you know, we're not going to be sinning willfully. You know, Lord, and, and Yahweh Shai said he's going to make intercession for us. But we will not sin. We're not running around here handling the word deceitfully. Running around here saying that the Lord didn't perform no miracles or teaching men, you know, to break the law and breaking the law ourselves. As we see these other uh, uh, false prophets do, bro. You know, just bringing out a, a couple of things. Defiling our temple by smoking weed, bro. You heard him say it, man. You know? Damn. But we will not sin, knowing that we are counted thine. Bam. You know? What 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 the brothers from Dallas bring out that uh, first John chapter three, verse three, you know, those that have this hope in them will make themselves pure. Let me see if I can find it real quick. First John chapter three, verse three, and every man that have this hope, that hope of salvation in him, purifieth himself. You no, know, even as he is pure. Starts in the mind, bro. You got your mind set on Yahweh Shema Shai? You love and you trust the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai? The Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments, bro. You know, we're not running around here just talking about some law, law, law. No, it's just simply the commandments of life. The laws of life, bro. This is who we is, baby! You know? This is who we is, bro. And don't forget now, this law entails also, from cover to cover, who our enemies are, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, who these other damn heathen ass nations are. You know, it's like it's a package deal, baby. Okay? Who we are, we the Lord's chosen people. We're not the black Hebrew Israelites, we're just the Hebrew Israelites, you know? We're not making a covenant with the heathen with no 501c3. We're not gonna celebrate the Sabbath day the same day as the heathen celebrate the Sabbath day because we understand the Sabbath day comes in on the new moon, bro. You know, think just certain things like that, bro. So once again, your actions have consequences. Let's get down. Let's get back down to the nitty gritty. Your actions have consequences, as you just saw. You know, I might have went out and indulged a little bit too much with some sweet things or something. But I, I you know, because hey, there's a little dainty thing. You know, I ain't. I didn't know where it come from. Come, I shouldn't have. You know, be, gotta be more careful, bro. I, I hear these. Gotta be more careful out here in these last days, man. You know. Because we want to see that we want to see it with our own eyes if it be the will of the Lord, you know. And of course, you know, nothing's gonna change that. Nothing's gonna change that. But we don't we want to see our end the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. We want to hold on and endure it to the end. But you know, if it be the will of the Lord, you know, that we maybe have to sleep and then the first the dead sh and the, the Yahweh shall arise first. That a hey, hey, let let the Lord be, you know, that let the Lord's will, let his will be done. You know, but uh, I just want to—I just want to say that, man. But the water to Yahweh Shemasha once again for this hundred percent truth right here. So we living, you know, we live in these scriptures, bro. We practicing what we preach, or and we understand our actions have consequences. I want to go back to um, Daniel chapter one. I want to read that the account of Daniel and the kings meet real quick, okay? Because I, I mean, I love this because this just speaks, you know, this Daniel also speaks to me in such a way because of this time, you know, of the, of the, uh, our temptation, the implementation of the M-A-R-K, which is C-H-I-P, the time that we live in now, the, sep the separation of this world, but being in the world, but not of it, you know, and D Daniel was a beautiful example of that, bro, in the king's court and all that stuff, but he will not bow down to the image, the golden image and all, he do nothing. Still kept his integrity, prayed to Yahweh Shema and that's what we're speaking about, bro, in these last days. This is the book of Daniel, 
chapter 1, verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Joachim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into Jerusalem and besieged it. You know, he took it over. And the Lord gave Je Je Jehoiakim, king of Judah, the Lord did it, into his hands. And the, and the part of of the vessels of the house of Yahweh Shemasha, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. Right? And the king spoke unto, I hope, I'm, I hope I didn't start too far back. Okay, here we go. And the king spoke unto Aspenaz, the master of the eunuch, of his eunuchs, which he should bring certain of the children of Israel, the smart ones, of the king's seed, woo, of and of the princes, right? The, the 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 not the peasants, but the royalty, the royal children. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom. So the, these were educated children, educated in our heritage, you know, educated in the ways of Yahweh Shemasha. And cunning and cunning in knowledge and understanding since Salaki and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace in whom they might teach and learn the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans so they you know brought them in there to learn from them you know to, to you know to trade knowledge and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat. Now let's go get this. Let's go get this king's meat in the blue letter. I just want to look it up real quick. Hold on. Holy shit! I got a lot of tabs open. We gotta close some of them tabs. I think they be. I think they can drain your battery or something like that. Daniel, one point uh, one five. This is Daniel ch chapter 1 verse 5. I'm going to read this in the NIV real quick and just going to go get the, the uh, that, that uh, definition. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years and after that they were to enter the king's servants, service. Okay, let me see. We're going to go to... Uh, the king appointed for them a daily... Rash, ration from the king's choice food. Right here it says choice foods, which is the king's meat. Uh, so choice food. Let's go to show Strong's info. Exactly. It goes to dainty things. Uh, portion, provision of meat. And then show outline biblical usage. Portion of food for king. Delicacies. 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 Just simply delicacies. Just, uh, you know, whatever they eat, what what the heathens eat, you know. Either heathens will eat any damn thing. Delicacies. Whatever they like right now, what are they saying? They say octopus is a delicacy. Snails are a delicacy. But the law told the Yahweh Shemasha, we have these laws and commandments that we're not supposed to be eating these certain things, you know. This would fall under the category of delicacy, you know. So you gotta be careful about these things, you know. I just wanna make mention of that. Now let's go back in the KJV. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourished them three years that at the, at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mashiach, and Azariah, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, <coughs> and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Az Azariah of Abednego. Okay? But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not, what, defile himself with the portion of the king's meat with his delicacies with his dainties okay why 
nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he must not be must not defile himself. Okay, and that's what I, that's what I'm talking about about Daniel, man. Daniel was like, you know, hey, I'm an Israelite, baby. Uh, we don't we don't you know we're gonna we should all we should obey God rather than man you know roughly, you know hey we should obey God rather than man we're the laws the Lord Yahweh Shabbat Shalom is giving us these laws you know and he would he, he would die for that bro he would die for Yahweh Shabbat Shalom just like Yahweh Shabbat Shalom say hey fight for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee bro and that's the mindset that we should have in these last days by applying these laws statutes commandments to our life you know. Be endures of the word, not here's only deceiving our own self, bro. Simply as that, okay? Because, because you know, at the end of the day, our actions have consequences, okay? And we're gonna get into that just a little bit, just like once again. Exhibit A. Three days, bro. Thinking that I might be, this might be it, bro. Oh, please, Lord, please. You know, shit. And just, you know, and and uh, we we made another. We made a few other examples about, you know, sitting with another man's wife. Your actions have consequences. Um, hey, going back into the world, your actions have consequences. The scripture even speaks about, you know, you think you can go, you know, you, to, 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 uh, you're going to put your house out to an open shame, you know, once you've heard this, this, this truth. All these things, bro, your actions have consequences. Hey, taking the M-A-R-K, which is the C-H-I-P, you got these bug outs over here talking about some you can repent from that. But the scriptures say you cannot repent from that, bro. Your actions have consequences. So this is the time. We gotta get it in the scriptures, man. But I just wanna I just gotta make this point. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashai, your actions have consequences. The scripture speaks about um uh You gotta give account to every word, bro. Okay? The scripture speaks about um, what comes out of your mouth defiles a man. These things, man, your actions have consequences, bro. We're just going to all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shemashi, bro. This is serious business over here, okay? But the, but the, hey, the Lord has blessed us. Now we have no cloak for our sins, my man. So take heed unto thyself, okay? And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, of course. Of course, because we be going through it, bro. We be going through it. And all praises to you, how about Shai? Because what does the scripture say? Blessed is the man whom the Lord chasteneth. You know? Because if you be without chastisement, you are bastards and not sons. So all praises to you, how about Shai, bro? Come on, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16. It says, Thus said the Lord, how about Shai, stand ye in the ways and see. And as for the old paths, where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. Right. Just, hey, the Lord said, hey, take my yoke and, and put it on thee. You'll, you'll, you'll see that I'm meek and lowly. Right? Hey, as for the old path. What, what did our forefathers do? How they go about doing things? You know? We're at a much simpler time, bro. And that's where we are. That's where we are coming back to who we really are, true heritage, and understanding that we're yet this day in our captivity. We're slaves here. We don't do what these heathens do. We don't live out like these heathens. We don't think like these heathens, you know? We're separate, we're holy. And all praise to you, how about Shem for that, bro? Let's go to the book of Matthew. Chapter 12, verse 36. Exactly, exactly what we were just talking about. Matthew 12, 36. But I say unto you that every idle word, bro, that men shall speak, they shall give account therein in the day of judgment. For the, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, bro. Your actions have consequences, brothers and sisters. The Lord even know what we'd be thinking about, my man. Okay? That's why we have to rebuke ourselves, rebuke our thoughts sometimes. You know, and this is just a beautiful, you know, we should be thankful for this. Thankful for this, this hope of salvation. Thanks. What does the scripture say? Oh, happy Israel, for the things that are pleasing to you, how about Shemashar, are made known unto us, bro. The scripture tells us to examine ourselves before the day of judgment. And you should, me, should, me, should, me, you know, we might, may found, find mercy, roughly paraphrasing. 
I'm going to Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. Yahabah Shemashah is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, there we go, your actions have consequences, that shall um, he also reap. Okay? For he that soweth to, the, to, the, to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Okay, let us, let us not be weary in well-doing, bro. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not, man. I know, and I was thinking about that other scripture. Uh, Let not thy heart be, charged, over, be overcharged with surfeiting. You know, and all this stuff out here and all this, you know. Just try to keep it together, bro. We, we're almost there, man. All praise to Yahweh Shemasha for the spirit, bro. Praying to Yahweh Shemasha for the spirit. Praying to Yahweh Shemasha that we endure to the end all these things that we're hoping for, okay? I want to go to the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh Shemashah, and that the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of Yahweh Shemashah, he shall, him shall Yahweh Shemashah destroy. For the temple of Yahweh Shemashah is holy, which temple ye are. Okay? That's right, man. We know that we're, we're the temple of the Lord. We know that, bro. And all praise to you, Yahweh Shemashah, for calling us out of that darkness into this marvelous light and putting His Spirit on us and in us, you know, to, to, to separate ourselves from this place, you know, to understand the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, to, to pursue good, to do good, you know, to do things that are pleasing to the Lord to the, to the best of our abilities, you know, not trying to wear ourselves, you know, not trying to be over-righteous or nothing, but, you know, not understand that we're in the flesh and we're gonna make mistakes bro we're gonna learn by our mistakes and we're gonna continue to do what we can bro and what hey also gotta 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 give thanks to you how about you my shot for the rain it was looking bad man it was looking bad it was looking very ominous and all praise to you how about you my shot bro I'm serious man it ain't no fun you know we you know we out here in the elements like that and it's raining it's you know we 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 go we go we suffer through it. Let's go back to the book of Luke. But you know any mercy that we can get, we we be thankful for that, bro. Luke chapter seventeen verse twenty, because we know that all things come from Yahweh Shemashah. Luke chapter seventeen verse twenty, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah should come, he answered them and said the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah cometh not with observation bro no hey the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah cometh not with observation neither shall they say lo here or lo there for behold the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah is within you bro hey the kingdom right here we start, it start right here now it makes sense what we read earlier you know about how you know, show me thy faith by thy works. I'll show you my my faith by my works. Because why calling me Lord, Lord, and do not what I say, bro. Having that faith and applying these words to our lives, bro. You know, it's beautiful, bro. It's something else, my man, brothers and sisters. Once again, thank you, the water you have on my shot for this for this grace, for this chance. You know, to return to the Lord. With a whole heart, with weeping, with mourning, with supplications to, to understand, you know. As the strippers say, you know, uh, them that fear the Lord will, will know the truth. We're going to understand the truth, bro, you know. We're going to understand these times that we're living in, bro. We're going to be, we're going to cleave unto that, bro. You know, take it, and like we brought out, this, like we brought out today, earlier. You know, the understanding of reincarnation and all that stuff. And, and how, uh, you know, you got the two-thirds. You got the wheat and the tares growing up together. You know, you got the two-thirds out here. They don't hear the word, you know. They don't, they can't, because it's a gift of faith. And we're right here. We, we made a spectacle to them. 
we're looking crazy for them, you know, they'd be like, yeah, good, more power, brother. They hear the words, but they do them not, bro. But the Lord got us. Man, doers of the word and not hearers only, bro. That's a true blessing, brothers and sisters. It's a true blessing, bro. And we cannot wait. Oh, my goodness, bro. Just imagine, brothers and sisters, when the shit hit the fan. You know? And we, be, we, we, we start to reap. We start to reap the benefits. Well, we, 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 we're reaping the benefits now because we're being made alive. We're being made clean right now, bro. Washing right now, bro. You know, you know? That old man. Fuck that old man, bro. And all that wicked shit and all this bullshit. And all this un not knowing. But the Lord said, you know, hey, we, we're free. We are free, bro. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Do you realize that? Everybody else is in gross darkness to people, but the Lord, the light, the, the, the glorious Yahweh Shemasha has shined down upon us, brothers and sisters. Come on, let's go. We're going to start closing it up, okay? Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. Proverbs 24, 16. It says, for a just man falleth down seven times. You know, hey, that's a part of, that's a part of the profit process. Just like a child, a toddler, a baby. They start to walk, bam! Well! Blow! 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 After a while, though, they walking. Then, they running. Then they riding bicycles. You know? They're washing dishes. You know, they they, they, they cleaning, cleaning up, helping out around the house, bro. They, they're learning. Teach them. Train up a child the way he shall go, you know. When, he, when he's old, he will not depart, roughly paraphrasing. And when, when I was a child, spoke as a child. But now that I'm a man, put away them childish things, bro. That's why we, you know, it's a process. It's a process, brothers and sisters. It's a process. Okay? So, hey. 24-16. For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked, what? The wicked falls into mischief, bro. You see the, you know, and that's what we're speaking about today. Um, in the epistle from today, about two-thirds coming back through the nutsack of the, of the, of the one-third, you know. Sure, we're gonna fall down, but we're gonna we're hoping for the why, right? We're suffering these straight things, but we're always gonna hope for the why. That's that always that that double side, that two side. You got the the just and the and the wicked of Israel right now. Okay, those good figs and those evil figs, bro. I want to jump over. I think I think want to jump. Let me see. Let me look at this real quick. Before I call it, I'm thinking about Psalms 37. I don't know where I'm going to start it. Uh, it is the precept, yeah. All praise to you, how about Shema Shah? Let's let's start a uh, verse. So this uh, Psalms 37. Verse 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Right, man. Hey, this is the Lord's program. That's what we're speaking about today. And Lord willing, we're part of that number. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Yahweh Shema Shai, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, upholding him with his hand. Okay? I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread, bro. All praise to you, Yahweh You know, that's a beautiful precept to a just man falling down seven times, bro. Beautiful precept. As a matter of fact, I want to record it. Give me one second. Seven. 
Okay. Like I said, we're about to close it up, bro. Just got uh, just a couple of more, okay? I want to go to the book of Ephesians. Chapter 4, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12. It says, uh, yeah, exactly. For the perfecting. So everything we're going to, what's going on right now. Let's start at 11. He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, bro. So, you know, we, we've come into this word, come into this 100% truth. Under the elders, apostle Great Millstone, and all the brothers under the umbrella, and we continue to be, you know, through the spirit and power you have by Shemasha, I kept right here, you know, continuing to be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth, right? Learning the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, right and wrong, and you know, applying these words to our life, bro. Uh, the scripture, the scripture speaks about buying up the testimony among my disciples, you know. Uh, Lord willing being sealed okay to that for the for the day man so and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai till we all come to the unity baby been on that one accord understanding this understanding how about Shema so we all come to the unity of the faith there's only one way one Lord one faith one baptism until the uh, Unity of the faith of the knowledge of the son of Yahweh Shemashah into a perfect man, perfect understanding, baby. You know, knowing what to do, knowing how to do it, knowing, you know, to the best of our abilities, applying these words to our life, bro. Having full faith in the Lord, turning away from this wicked world, rising in the part for this is not your rest, waiting, being patient on the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. It all, it's all this, it's all a package deal, bro. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and then the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh Shemashah, the words of life. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Yahweh Shemashah, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to the sea, bro. That's right, man. But speaking the truth in love may grow, process. Up into him in all things which is the head, even Yahweh Shai, bro. That's right, man. Beautiful. And we're going to end it off in John chapter 15. John 15, verse 1. It says, I am the true vine, Yahweh Shai, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purge it. That it may bring forth more fruit, bro. Going through that fire, you know. Cutting things off. Getting more, you know, getting more correction. Getting more understanding. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now we are we made clean, separate, holy, sanctified. Okay? Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me, bro. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing, bro. That's why we, man, we understand, we know. We need Yahweh Shemashah, okay? We need Yahweh Shemashah. You know, that's why we be asking Yahweh Shemashah, please don't take the Holy Spirit away from us. Please allow us to endure to the end. You know, he said, hey, make that, make that request known. You know, please have mercy on us, bro. Yeah, you know, all these things. You know, the hopeful elect. Because we are saved by hope, bro. Not of our own self. So, man, Lord willing, brothers and sisters, hopefully that was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shout out to brothers and sisters. Shout out to y'all.